Hello guys, Daft Channel here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a form application with Xamarin Studio and the Mono Framework on Mac OS X. So that is basically the equivalent to Windows Form application within Visual Studio. For this purpose, we're going to create a new project in our Xamarin Studio and we're heading to .NET and we're choosing the GDK 2.0 project. That means we got uh, a designer like similar to Visual Studio as well. So we call this GDK demo application and we are hitting uh, create. Uh, for this purpose, we should, uh, uh, we should run the demo application at first. And so we are seeing uh, that is our, our main window, which is empty. But that is the thing we're gonna work on. To navigate to the main window, we are uh, have to uh, display. Uh, come on, where are you? Intuition design. So we got our project structure, and we're heading to user interfaces. We are seeing the main window. If we double click on the main window, we're seeing the main window, which is file where we create the build process. We start the build process. We get an empty main window. So uh, you have to uh, use some things. If you're using GDK, you cannot or you can uh, pull a button in there. If you're doing that way, you see the GDK button takes the full place of the main window. It is not resizable. So we better delete it. We have to use a container to uh, positionate our, let's say call it widgets, our, our control elements. So for this, in our case, we're using the fixed container. The fixed con yeah, within the fixed container, you can move around like you're familiar with if you're using Windows Phone applications. So if we're going there, and now we are using the button, we can rearrange it. And we also want to use a label to display some text. So uh, in the first case, we're going to rename uh, the button. So we have uh, the internal name, BDN uh, click me, and we got some button properties, and that is the display name of our button. So we call the button click me. And it changed immediately. If we're not going to the label, we can do it the same. We call it LBL uh, main text. Yeah, that is no common sense or something. But if we're going to label properties, we're saying not label five, we're deleting it. So if you're starting our project, let's do it. Uh, we see the main window with a click me button, which doesn't have any functionalities yet. And to add some functionalities, we can change to source. And we are writing private left, private white, uh, let's say button main. Or of course it's button click me clicked and we've got uh, the sender as our signature and event args as our event arguments all right that is the signature of our our method which is called uh one thing i want to show you it's it's uh, it's not unusual but if you double click it in Visual Studio, you can auto generate method. In this case, you have to navigate to signals and to battle signals, and then in the clicked part, you have to remove the placeholder and copy in the name of your method, which is button clicked me, clicked wrong spelling. But at this point, you do not care. So we are heading back to our, our method. We're gonna say this. LBL main text, which is the label, which is hidden text, and we're setting the text property. And we also gonna count um, the times, how often you have clicked, because yeah, just that every time we click on the button, the method is fired. So we're analyzing an integer with uh, the value zero, and before it, we manipulate the text, we're gonna increase the value of the integer very so we're gonna say the button was clicked 
and then i and times. So every time we click the button, uh, e should be iterated or increased by one and the text should be updated. So if we're hitting now run, we're seeing our main menu, click me, and the label is empty. And if we hit uh, click me once, we see the button was clicked one times, not correct spell, but one time. And we're hitting twice, the button was clicked twice. If we're hitting a, free, a third time, uh, the button was clicked three times. And we can do it uh, as much as we want. It always counts the click. So that is basically the things you have to do if you want to create a Mac OS X application with Xamarin Studio and the Mono Framework and using the GDK. The GDK uh, does uh, the design things for you. You got a um, built-in designer, which does the things. And there are some things you have to know. You can't place buttons directly on the main window. You have to use containers to order it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope also that you learned something. And if you have any uh, further questions to this video or for future videos, you do not hesitate to contact me, uh, ask your questions also behind in the comment or below in the comment box, hit like, subscribe to my channel. And as always guys, see you in the next video.